Making metal surfaces in Blender can be tricky. I really needed a coin for a game I'd been working on. I struggled with making the little bridges on the coin and then making it look like metal and then getting the images applied to it correctly. And when I finally figured it out, I wanted to share how. So I, I hope this is helpful. I'm just going to dive right into walking through each step. The images I use of the faces of the coin are from Wikimedia Commons. They're public domain. You can Google them and they should be in the description below. But without further ado, but oh. And the first step, as always, is to go ahead and click on general. And what we got here, we don't need a cube for a coin. I'm going to hide the light. I'm going to hide the camera and I'm going to kill this cube object delete. Now with that done, let's go ahead and add mesh. And I like to add the circle. And what I'm going to do with our circle here is I'm going to increase the vertices to 64. And that's to give us uh, some room to create those little ridges on a coin. All right, let's go into edit mode at this point. And in edit mode, first things first, I will be doing vertex, new edge from vertices or new face from vertices, right? So vertex, new face from vertices. And now that that has been achieved, I can go ahead and do face extrude faces. And of course, I could have done this with a cylinder. I find this a easier route to go than messing with all those sizing things. So here we are. All right. And there's a few steps we got to do. We got to we got to start creating those edges. So what we're going to do to do that, I'm going to go to see through mode and click on X. Right. So the ridges on the edge of a coin, US currency, actually most currency has it in some form or another. I'm going to select all of them. And I did that by going to see through mode. And now I have all of these selected. I'm going to do edge bevel edge. And let's go nuts here. And let's take a look up top. Um, I find for this, I think, did I do 0 0.02? I did 0 0.02 is what we're looking for here. Now, with all of these still selected, this is very handy to have them all selected. I want to extrude these regions, but I need to extrude individual to make sure it only extrudes in the direction uh, that we need it to. So I'm going to click extrude individual, and I'm going to click and pull. And you can see how it goes out in all different directions, the directions the coin is actually facing. I'm thinking negative 0. 0, 1, 5. I mean, these are tiny ridges. Let's go off see through mode. That looks good to me. So great. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply. Yep, we're going to apply the materials. So let's go ahead and go back into object mode for this first one because we'll just apply it to everything headed to material new. And what I want is a gold, obviously, I mean a silver. I'm going to head to base color. And I actually know you can mess around with this. I was looking up different hex colors. And one I like is ABA, 9AB for coins. Okay, so I'm going to stick to that one. And then uh, let's go ahead and go into interior mode so we can see it. Zoom out a bit. And now I need to metallic. Yeah, I'm going to do a 0.9 on metallic for a coin. And then for roughness, I do want some roughness. I'm going to do a 0 0.2. It will give a bit of a shine just as we need. And the rest of us can stay just like that. So now I'm headed back into edit mode. I want to go into face mode now. And the images I'm about to use are taken from Wikimedia Commons. They are open source images of US currency. I'm going to be doing the 50 cent piece. Uh, I will try to link them in the description. But regardless, you could just Google and they're open source on Wikipedia well, Wikimedia and on Wikipedia. So, all right, let me click the top here and I got to do UV unwrap. And this will not work unless you UV unwrap the top. Now that I have done so, right, now that that's all done, now I'm going to click on it and I'm going to do a new material for it. So new, new, and I'm going to call this face. Okay. And then I want, this is all fine, but what you need to do way over here is this little dot. I'm going to click on image texture and now I need to find that image. And like I said, this is from Wikimedia Commons and hopefully it's linked in the description. So US half face and open image. 
And now let's make sure metallic is going to be the same and roughness. I think I was doing the same. Uh, let's go ahead though and click assign. There we are. I'm going to click off. That is looking excellent. Okay. Yay. Our coin has a face on it. All right. Well, now let's go to the back. So I'm going to click Z and then Z again. And now I'm going to click on the face here. And again, I need to use UV unwrap. Once I have done this unwrap, I am now going to just to show you just the face and it plus new. I'll title this back because, well, it will be the back of the coin. Same process here. Go to images. The image was Wikimedia Commons. Image texture. Open my downloads and the reverse side and open. Okay. Now I'm going to do same metallic 0 0.9 and same roughness 0 0.2. All right. That looks all good to go and assign. So now if I click off, there it is. It looks a bit different because of the lighting, right? It's a bit darker on the back, but I can prove to you. So look how light and shiny that is. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go into object mode and here. Let's go on the x-axis, 180, and the back is shiny as well. It's just the lighting. So with that being said, we have one major step left, edit mode. And in edit mode, I'm going to be, so I can see a bit better, going into line. Oh, I'm lying to you. I'm going into face. I'm going to click. Okay. And once I do so, I am actually going to pull this face. Let me get level with it up not much yeah 0 0.03 is perfect okay and now that i've done that i'm going to do edge bevel edges and pull to kind of round my edges and shockingly guess what's perfect for this 0 0.03 okay that's right where you want it to be click and now let me do the same thing on this side so same deal i'm going to pull negative 0 0.03 and then I'm going to do edge bevel pull and guess what 0 0.03 for the bevel and then I'm going to click off and let's now zoom out all right and we have a beautiful a beautiful coin I would go ahead and resize the width of this. I just had it that wide for editing purposes. Maybe a 0 0.4 would be a bit more reasonable of a width or 0 0.3. Awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and walk through rendering it. So I'm going to do camera. And now obviously this isn't a great angle for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do with our camera view. Oh, let me go into object mode. I'm going to go view sidebar. Now view and lock camera to view. So now I can move the camera when I move my reference to the coin. Something like this maybe. And then I'm also going to move the coin a bit. Let's get it to rotate just a bit. Maybe up. And then that's looking good. Zoom in a bit on it. Okay. I want more of the depth in there. Something like this. Okay. Now let's see with light. Yeah. And as I expected, we're going to need to move our light. Let me get rid of this and that. Where's my light at? Take a look now. Not super better. This will be way too much. But what if we do one? And I'm thinking that's looking good. So if I want to move it just a smidge more, I can. And then we have a beautiful rendered coin. ta -da! And what you could do as well, I'm going to take this, we're going to move this guy over here, and I'm going to do object, duplicate, and I hit Y to keep mine on the Y axis. Let's spin it around. Something like that, maybe, or we could just do the 180 and now let's render it. We have a fancy 
fancy coin. But uh I hope you ha you have a really awesome end product too. If this tutorial was useful, make sure to hit like, make sure to hit subscribe. It gives me warm fuzzies and makes the world a better place.